very cold December morning what we're going to do today on this bed here we'll be putting one rhubarb plant down this end and I've got a further two which I'll be putting in this bed here I'll probably put one each end something in the middle um, while we're on it I'd like to point out to you this trench which is actually if you look up close it goes off down here to a pond over the back there and it helps keep the bottom of the plot nice and dry so we are prone to flooding here now what we've also done is taken on a second allotment which is the one next door what we'll do with this will unfold over the coming months but uh, as you can see it's going to take a lot of clearing well not too bad for clearing but yeah there's a lot of stuff to take to the tip and I don't know what's going to happen with that shed slash greenhouse slash thing but we'll see there's another shed over there lots of pots hanging about oh some compost bins always useful but uh it's traditionally been because it's over it's overcast with trees it's traditionally been used for chickens but well, I don't think it's been used for chickens for quite a long time anyway let's go and look at the rhubarb so rhubarb can be grown in seeds but it's quite traditional to grow it in crowns and I've got three crowns here to put in this is uh, Timperley early rhubarb so I'm hoping for an early crop Ooh, there's a bit more there can go in um, so I said we'll be putting them in the box I got these from Park and J Parkers I believe no sponsorship and I'm looking forward to uh, getting these in and we're getting some rhubarb next year careful not to tread on anything I've planted already if I dig in just using the mattock The ever versatile matic. Digging, chopping. So we'll have some here, I think. I want leave enough room for the leaves to spread so I don't want to be too far over so I think I'll come over here a bit more actually and when I'll later I'll probably put some mulching some feed some feeding
throw a little crown. I will be digging well rotted manure in later or maybe spreading it over the top and mulching with leaves we'll be putting another one here and then we'll put something else in the middle we'll see how much spread now you're not supposed to take the stems in the fish here because it reduces the vigour so this might be going in and uh, not being harvested next year So the fire that we had last time, we'll be taking the ashes and putting them on the beginnings of a heap. Um, I'll put it in the compost bin that we've got actually. So we'll take a quick look around the next plot, it comes with this rather large outbuilding and uh, I'm not quite sure what this is for. There's a lot to be taken down and taken away. Uh, do you want any video games? There's no video games in them. Wheelbarrow, that's, that's finished. But these it can always be used. You just need to be in, you, never a lid, and there's never there's never the front either. A few pots. Ooh, nice glass door. Very nice. Ah, rake can go in. Oh, and a shovel. Never saw that last time. That can go away in the main shed. It's been a lot of use. We cut this uh, this back last week. Let's have a look indoors. Now, I may take that chair back to its wood and reupholster it. Once we get the shed up, same with this chair. That's mirror. It doesn't feel particularly safe. I think the roof has gone, but there is a lot of gear in here. That's seized up, but we might be able to do something with that. So I think one of the first orders is we've got next door, we have another shed. Uh, however, it's, yes, new, new roof required. The floor's Completely well, the floor's there, but it's going. I think that's had it, but we can. The frame itself seems okay. 
you can do something. Yeah, I think a lot of this is gonna go. But we'll keep the bath, or the bath, depending on how you pronounce it. And we'll see. Anyway, just a quick one this week. And uh, see you soon.